Hi, I'm Adam Brown, and I'm a physiotherapist with Therapia. A cane can be an excellent way to take pressure off of an injured limb or prevent a fall. Today, we're going to cover the use of a cane on flat ground and while climbing stairs. The first thing to consider is that your cane is adjusted to the appropriate height. The handle of your cane should line up with the crease between your hand and forearm. The cane is used in the opposite arm of the injured limb, ensuring a wide base of support for better balance. The goal is to have a normal walking pattern with the cane and injured limb always moving together. When negotiating stairs, a common phrase taught to patients is, the good leg leads to heaven and the bad leg leads to hell. This means that the good leg always goes first when climbing stairs and the bad leg always goes first when descending stairs. As always, the cane and injured limb move together. Start by putting the strong leg on the first stair. Step onto the strong leg and bring the cane and injured leg up to meet it. This cycle simply repeats until you reach the top of the staircase. When there's a railing available, you may wish to take advantage of it. To do this, simply grip the cane with the opposite arm. The cane still moves with the injured limb and the railing can be used for additional support. Begin by standing on the strong leg and lowering the cane and injured limb to the stair. You can move the strong leg down to meet them. This pattern repeats until you reach the bottom of the staircase. Always keep stairs and hallways in your home free from clutter. When you sit down, keep your cane within arm's reach. Do your best to keep the floor clean and dry to ensure good traction. Your therapy of physiotherapist will be happy to review these skills with you to ensure that you're safe in your home while using your cane. To learn more, go to therapia.com.